Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn a special pronunciation of the letter C. So let's get started. First, let's review the normal pronunciation of C. Normally, C has two pronunciations. When we see the letter C before the vowels A, O, and U, it makes the K sound, like K, K, like K. K. Examples, cap, cop, and cup. And when we see the letter C before the vowels E, I, or Y, it makes the S sound, like the letter S. S, S. Example, center, city, and cycle. When we see C, the letter C, before two vowels like C-E-A or C-I-A, the C makes a sh sound, sh, like in shoes and show. The C makes a sound sh. For example, this word, racial, we see C-I-A, that is the letter C before the two vowels, I and A. The C makes the sh sound like shoe and show. The word is racial. The A makes a long A, like say and pay, ray, show. There is no racial bigotry here. Our purpose here is to protect our black leaders from the racial onslaught of the pig who wishes to brutalize our black leaders, rape our women, and destroy our black communities. We didn't get any coffee that you didn't want and I didn't order, and that's evidence of racial discrimination. You're asking me to sue. Everybody I ever met for racial discrimination. Racial is an adjective. Example, they're fighting against racial injustice. Let's practice. Are they fighting against racial injustice? That's right. They're fighting against racial injustice. Or with this word, musician. We see the letter C before the vowels I-A. So the C makes the sh sound, like shoes and show. Musician. Musician. A lot of people don't know that Bruce is a very talented musician because he isn't. He wanted his son to follow in his footsteps, but he became a musician or something. <clears throat> I'm a musician and I'm very passionate about my work. John Lennon will be remembered as a gifted and talented musician. Tom explained to Hope yes. how you're a musician and sometimes musicians travel door to door to sell their music. Example, he's a talented musician. Let's practice. Is he a talented musician? That's right. He's a talented musician. So again, that pronunciation, musician. We see the S makes a Z sound with a vibration. Z, like in zebra. Musician. Not musician, but mu. Put the Y sound before the U. Together, U. Mu. Musician. Or this word. Technician. We see the letter C before I-A, so we know the C is pronounced with the sh sound, like shoes and show. Technician. We also see the CH make the k sound. Tech. Technician. Technician. Uh, no, my technician is set up in your office. Now, inside the black vault, there are three systems operating whenever the technician is out of the room. Well, I'm not an avionics technician. Yeah, but <laughs> what if a technician only thought he was looking at an echo? He works on heaters and air conditioners, so I can say he's an AC technician. Or more exact, I can say he's an HVAC technician. But normally, regular people just say AC technician. He's an AC technician. Let's practice. What is he? Is he an AC technician? That's right, he's an AC technician. Or this word, facial. We see the C before the I-A, so we know the C is pronounced with the sh sound, like shoes and show, facial. The first vowel is the long A. A, like say and pay, fa, facial, facial. Facial can be an adjective describing something related to your face. I went to the bank and the teller looked at me strangely and I got home and I looked at myself in the mirror and my face was still green from a facial mask that I had forgotten to take off. A facial prosthetic. The aesthetic replacement does work. <laughs> it's a facial prosthetic. It was two weeks in the making. Thank you. And my awesome little brother with a facial deformity. Limitless resource of vocal and facial interaction. 
she freaked out because, you know, he has facial hair and his parents are never home. Yeah. How fast does hair grow? Facial hair. What? It can also be a noun. Example, she's at the spa and she's getting a facial. Remember, facial is a countable noun, so we have to say a uh, for one. A uh, facial. She's at the spa and she's getting a facial. Let's practice. Where is she and what is she doing? That's right. She's at the spa and she's getting a facial. Now let's look at this word. This word is beneficial. Beneficial. We see the C before the I-A making the sh sound. Sh -sh. Beneficial. Beneficial. It's an adjective. It means good for you. Something that will benefit you is beneficial. It gives these kids a chance to settle their differences in a beneficial manner. I think this hobby would be more beneficial for you than me, Frank. The other reason I thought this gathering would be uh, beneficial is because Harlan altered his will a week before he died. It would be more beneficial to the country if Walker were to protect the democratic process as commander-in-chief of the armed forces. I've talked with some of the others and we've decided that it would be more beneficial to conduct the blood tests in the field. Example. Eating fruits and vegetables is beneficial to your health. Let's practice. What do you think? Do you think eating fruits and vegetables is beneficial to your health? That's right. Eating fruits and vegetables is beneficial to your health. Now let's look at this word, crucial. Crucial is something very important because whatever happens, it will affect your life in an important way. It's crucial. And we see the C before the I-A making the sh sound. Together, crucial. Crucial. A crucial document, either misplaced or conceivably destroyed. It's very crucial. Mr. Barnes, the reform movement in Iran is one of the president's great hopes for the region and crucial to the petroleum security of the United States. She's been a crucial inspiration to my work. These monthly feedback and input sessions were crucial to the success of this project. Example, he's making a decision, but this decision is very important. Whatever he decides will affect the rest of his life. So he's making a crucial decision. He needs to think a lot about it because he's making a crucial decision. Let's practice. Is he making a crucial decision? That's right, he's making a crucial decision. Whatever he decides will affect the rest of his life. It's very important. Now let's look at this word, excruciating. Excruciating, we see the C before the I and the A making the sh sound. Excruciating. But with this word, we're going to pronounce the I after the C as E, excruci, and the A pronounced with the long A. Together, excruci, A. We link the E and the A with a Y sound, Y, Y, together, excruci, A, excruciating. After the A, we have the letter T, and the T is between vowels, so it's going to sound like a fast D excruciating, excruciating, ding. We see the X making the voiceless sound, x, 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 excruciating. Excruciating is an adjective. It means very, very painful. He had severe pain. So I can say the pain was excruciating. It means very, very bad. Very severe pain is excruciating. After nine months of excruciating pain, the cancer had spread. We're all here for you. I hope you're in excruciating pain. Oh my God. That was excruciating. That was excruciating. The pain must have been excruciating. The venom was excruciating. This is excruciating. Yeah. 63 minutes of excruciating boredom. Example, he was in pain for a long time, and the pain was excruciating. Let's practice. Was he in pain for a long time? That's right. He was in pain for a long time. And how was it? Was it very bad? 
That's right. The pain was excruciating. It was horrible. Now we see this word, ocean. We see C before the vowels E-A. So the C also makes the sh sound here. It makes the sh sound like shoes and show. Ocean. Ocean. Now remember, we live next door to the ocean, but we also live on the edge of a desert. Sometimes the only way to keep them off is to throw the kid directly in the ocean to distract them. Example, a lot of people are scared of swimming in the ocean because they're scared of sharks. What about you? Are you scared of swimming in the ocean? Very good. And here's another word that has C-E-A. Crustacean. We see the C before the E-A making the sh sound, like shoes and show. Crustacean. Crustacean. Put the stress on the second syllable. This is a crustacean. And crustaceans always live near water or in the water. I am on an elimination diet, so I can't eat soy, dairy, eggs, crustaceans, or tree nuts here. Lobster thermidor is coming up, and I am going to have to murder and dismember a crustacean. Tiffany, what I do is just sort of scrape off the crustaceans. Do I look stupid to you? No, honestly, you look a little sad. You gotta give up your shellfish, crustaceans, lobsters, uh, uh, scallops, and chicken and turkey. Let's practice. What is this thing? That's right, this is a crustacean. And do crustaceans live near water? That's right, crustaceans live near water or in the water. So remember, when you see C-I-A or C-E-A, the C makes a special sound. It makes a sound sh, like shoes and show. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.